National Reconciliation Week. And the theme for this year is In This Together. It's a pretty apt theme given what's going on, but speaks to how we want to move forward together. National Reconciliation Week started as the Week of Prayer for Reconciliation in 1993. It was supported by Australia's major faith communities, but especially the Christian Church. The dates remain the same, on 27th of May through to the 3rd of June. These two dates commemorate significant milestones in the reconciliation journey. The successful 1967 referendum and the High Court Mabo decision. Reconciliation is a journey which we all need to take as families, as communities, as individuals, as a nation. At the heart of it all is we're hoping for a more just society between the broader Australian community and the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Good morning, everybody. Pretty powerful story from Uncle Clyde Rigney. The scene that you have in front of you, uh, if you just put up the slide there, is of our church standing together when we were all in this room uh, in, the, in 2018, I think that photo was taken. The place Raukin is one that I grew up um, spending a lot of my early life with, and I would consider the Nurunjiri as part of my family. And uh, Uncle Clyde Rigney is a very dear person to me. You can watch the full interview. I'll put the post on Facebook, but it comes from a website called 40 Stories. I think it's .com.au. And it's got some amazing stories from Indigenous people across Australia, the sharing, uh, the believers, Christians. And uh, the theme is apt, I think. We're in this together. This is our nation. Um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders, their nation, and our nation. We live in this nation together. And I want to begin with an acknowledgement of country. So we have these words that will come up on your screen. I don't know if you want to say them with me. But let's say this. We gather as the church today in our homes, across our city, on the traditional lands of the Ghana people where they've lived for thousands of years. We acknowledge the tradi traditional custodians of this land and see the good hand of our creator God who saw it fit for these first Australians to live in deep relationship with their country, to care for it and enjoy its fruit. We acknowledge the important role that Indigenous people continue to play within our communities across our nation. Together, we will build relationships and communities that value Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and move us to become a more just, equitable nation. We continue the Indigenous and Biblical values of respect, servanthood and honour by offering our respect to their elders, both past and present. We respect their culture and identity, which has been bound up with land and sea for generations, and recognise their culture and heritage is still profoundly important for us today. As we begin this service, let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, our Father in heaven, our Father. We are made by you of the same dust. Doesn't matter what colour skin, what place we call home in this world. We're all created with one God. And then even more so, through Jesus, we are brought together, every tribe, tongue and nation, brought together not as enemies, not as strangers, but as family, as sisters and brothers with a Father in heaven. These are the roots of the Christian hope for our world. And Lord our God, we want to see those very things expressed in our nation with our indigenous sisters and brothers. I pray for Ralkin. I pray for their elders. I pray for their heritage of Christian faith. 
I pray that this community, which ta- has great dignity, may keep growing. Growing in raising its children, its little boys and girls, to be people of confidence. People that are able to raise their head high and say we're not, not in duty. And help them also know this Father in heaven that we all share. Pray for that Christian community on that place, that they bear good witness. People like Rosie and Clyde, people like Honey Dot, help them lead their people closer to you, Jesus. We thank you for a church that we have relationship with. We thank you for the Aboriginal Berean Christian Church and its service among the Ghana and even beyond. And today we want to pray for Pastor Don Haywood, his wife Carly. Pray for the elders there. And we pray that you might sustain them and keep them in what is a challenging ministry to some of the most disadvantaged people in our state. God, we pray that you might supply their every need spiritually, in their leadership capacity as the young men and women grow up, and financially. And God, today especially, we're really reminded of what happens when the fractures between black and white, between people who are different, go amok. And I think of America right today with George Floyd in Minneapolis and just how horrible that has been. We pray for that nation, that this division, which is, it seems, is constantly a constant reminder, especially to black America. We pray that there'd be a way forward for them. We know that many are urging not to go with violence, but we, I understand. People want not just justice, they want a shift in the mindset and the culture of governments, of leaders, of society. And we ask that this nation might know that. Right across our world, we are too good at dividing people by colour, by race, by religion. We're too good at taking our power and using it to belittle others. And this is not the way of Christ. It's not what you are drawing us to, our God. As we look forward, as Revelation reminds us, we are going to a place where every tribe, tongue and nation, every people will bow their knee and worship you. And already we see this in the church, right today, across our world, there's every colour, every tongue. And we will wrap our arms around one another and call ourselves family. This is the power of the church and we pray that we might be that church through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.